Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Courtney so in today's video you're going to notice that we had to get another new refrigerator the Samsung that we had got a couple weeks ago um, it was already kind of weird to us when we first got it because we noticed that the manual looked like it had been like soaked in water and then dried out and in the bottom of the freezer part the screws that was in it was already rusted like i don't know it was weird it was supposed to be a new refrigerator but it just seemed off to us we should have went with our gut on it but anyway after we plugged it up after about a day of having it it kept unthawing all of our food then it will refreeze everything to the point where there was like frost on everything in the freezer and then it would unthaw again and it was making a really loud obnoxious noise and it would do it for hours at a time we tried everything and I told my husband I did not want to pay that much money for a refrigerator that was already doing that so we had it returned and we went to Lowe's and found another refrigerator that we really liked that was a little more simple and I like that it has handles and I don't have to reach up at the top of the refrigerator to open up the doors and i like how the refrigerator door opens um where i can just grab everything out of the refrigerator and put it straight onto the countertop it's just it's really convenient for us and i've really really been loving it and it works great so i'm happy with it but y'all will be seeing that in a little bit and also I have been sneaking in little pops of gold into the kitchen like my pots and pans, my utensils, my white and gold air fryer. So if you're new to my channel, I'm probably going to be laying off on my makeovers for the next couple weeks and just mainly be doing like cleaning, cooking, homemaking, and maybe like updating or redoing some decor here and there. But I'm trying to save up my energy and money for our big makeover that's coming up in like two weeks. Y'all will be seeing it. We're finally going to get started on the kitchen. We're going to be redoing the kitchen, uh, the kitchen cabinet doors. So those will be redone and we're going to be building some custom farmhouse cabinet doors for our I guess you would say our hutch or whatever it is on the other side of the refrigerator. So we're going to be closing that back up and building some custom doors for it. So I'll have more cabinet space in the kitchen since I don't have much as it is already. And we're going to be repainting all of that. Adding new hinges, hinges and stuff to the doors. And we're going to be putting in a gold and black um, sink. So I decided to update the appliances also and put some gold on the refrigerator and the stove see how i like it and i really really like how it turned out i don't know if you've ever heard or seen those cafe style appliances but they're like really expensive they're white and gold so that's kind of like where i got the inspiration to try this on our appliances but anyway you're going to be seeing that and we're also going to be redoing the um kitchen dining well the dining table in our dining room i had redone it a couple months ago but it was like a gray color whenever i finished but that's whenever i had more teals in the house so it went well with it but now since i switched to the sage green and the browns i just didn't feel like it really fit anymore so my husband and also a subscriber had mentioned that they thought that it would be a really good idea for me to do the tabletop to kind of look like the entryway table that I redone in my last video. So that's exactly what we did this weekend and I think that it turned out really good. I love it so much more. It matches everything so much better. But anyway, 
If you are new to my channel, I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future posts or videos. And to be here for the bean makeover that's coming up at the end of the month. And also, we're trying to get that done because we're going on vacation in the first week of March. So I wanted to get this bean makeover done before we went on vacation. So y'all stick around. You don't want to miss it. It's going to make a huge difference in our kitchen. But I'm going to stop rambling and let y'all enjoy the rest of the video. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, so I figured I would go ahead and tell y'all now, instead of you wondering um, whenever you see the video, if you notice that we have a different refrigerator again. So that's the refrigerator that we just bought a couple weeks ago. And this is the new refrigerator. This is a Hisense, and that was the Samsung that we had got a couple weeks ago. This started messing up really bad. It was steady unthawing and refreezing it was destroying our food we tried everything my husband looked at it we unplugged it replugged it it's been doing it for days now and it's it's made a mess in this kitchen so um we contacted them and they asked if we want another one like this or to just pick another one so we chose this one now if y'all are wondering why there's just random screws right there it has handles for it, but they were like a stainless steel color. But, um, well, I haven't told y'all yet, but we are deciding to, like, I have some gold tones. Like the utensils, that's gold. Um, I want to put gold handles on my kitchen island. And the sink, whenever we redo the kitchen, I'm going to be, we're going to be getting a new faucet. For one, we want like the touchless faucet that has like the sensor on it. So since we're buying another new one, I figured that we could get black and gold for the faucet too. So since that's the case, I felt like the stainless steel wouldn't really match what we were doing. So we bought some gold spray paint and we are spray painting the handles gold and they're drying right now. And then we're going to clear coat them. So I'll show y'all that once we get the handles put back on the refrigerator. Okay, so like I had explained a while ago, um, we decided to paint the handles on this refrigerator gold. We're still working on this handle, but this handle's done. We, uh, <laughs> we clear coated it already. And like I had said, my plan is to get a black and gold faucet to go here. And um, so this has little hints of gold on it. My some of my utensils have gold on it. My measuring spoons are gold. This is gold. So I got a wild hair up my butt, I guess you could say. And I came up with an idea. It might look bad, it might look great. Either way it goes, these handles or these knobs, the replacements aren't much at all. Or we could just paint them back white, but what we're going to do is we're going to take these knobs off and this handle and we're going to prime it white first and then we're going to use the same gold paint on these and then we're going to clear coat them just to get the stove to match the refrigerator without buying a new stove huh oh whenever oh, okay well never mind he said that we're probably not going to prime these so anyway, we're going to be painting them gold and clear coating them. Anyway, I just want to tell y'all that right quick before we got started. Okay, so he finished painting this handle and got it put back on. So that's how the refrigerator is looking. I think it looks really good. What you think, baby? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, looks good. <laughs> and I haven't showed y'all the inside of it. 
We got a lot of room in here. It's I really. Than that raggedy Samsung. Yeah, that one kind of scarred us. I ain't gonna lie to you. And then this is what the freezer part looks like. But yeah, I love this refrigerator. I love it more than another one and it was a lot cheaper. It's perfect for what we need. It's the perfect size. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need, ain't gonna lie. I know what I want, speak in my mind now. The queen needs a kid to be by her side. Okay, so the other thing we're going to be doing in this video is redoing the top of our dining table. Again, I did this a couple months ago, but it's whenever we had like, <coughs> excuse me, we had the pantry door blue and the island was blue. Um, and then I had like the gray and blue curtains and stuff. So I felt like the gray matched it better. But now I'm doing like the sage green and a bunch of wood tones. So if you didn't see my last video, I had redid our entryway table and I had did it with that wood color too. So my husband said that he felt like this would look better, the brown wooden color and a subscriber on my channel that's been around for a while. She also said the same thing. So I was like, you know what? I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do this weekend. So it was kind of a last minute, spare the moment kind of decision. And um, we used polycrylic on this and it kind of gave it a shine, but not like the entryway table where I did it with the polyurethane. So that's what we're going to do with this one. I'm going to use my gel stain Kona, Verithane in the color Kona, and I'm going to put um, two flat bases, no, two, probably two coats, and it's the flat white paint on top of it, and then use the gel stain to wipe on, over it. 
And then I'm gonna use the polyurethane to brush over it. But anyway, I just wanted to explain what we're gonna be doing and we're gonna go ahead and get started on this too. All right, well, I have been tasked of painting this table while she runs to Walmart or somewhere to go get some more gel stain. Tried to tell her yesterday she didn't have enough, but she swore she did. And you know, life's always right. So you just smile and go along with it. But I was right this time. So now I get to paint the table. But I feel myself giving. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't want to change who you are. The things you say is always one step too far. But I know that I've played my part. I'm hurting you as well. I guess that we should say we're sorry. again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change we can't fix our broken hearts loving me is not so easy as i think you try your best to hold up but i see you're giving in you know that we shouldn't keep it up like this we hurt each other's feelings on and on i don't want to change who you are you say it's always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry We hurt each other's feelings on and on for a friend. 
Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way where you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end I can make 
like you when I walk alone Uh oh Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know I wanna know If I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red lights I don't know if I can make it when I walk alone I'm not gonna lose myself I'll be standing high And I'll win the fight Not gonna lose myself And I wanna know Yeah, I wanna know I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to draw the red lights I could just stay the same Or be winning the game I'll be standing Okay, so we have literally been playing with this table for two days now, all day Saturday and half of the day to figure out how we wanted it. So if y'all didn't understand the process that I used, we painted it completely white like a base coat and then I used the gel stain over it. Y'all saw me do that with the washcloth and then I let that dry and um, then a few hours later, I went over it with the white paint that I used as base coat, but I used like a chip paint brush, like the really wiry paint brushes. And I just dabbed it in the white paint really, really lightly and did like some brush strokes over it, like dry brushed it some. And then I took the rag that I had used for the gel stain and took the excess that was on it. So I didn't use any extra gel stain. I, it was all just the excess that was on the washcloth from earlier. And I just, went back over it to lighten up the um white paint that i had put on there when i dry brushed it so it wasn't as harsh or as much white on it and then i took the polyurethane and y'all saw my husband do one thick coat of it on there and i just used the hair dryer behind him because whenever you use the roller it bubbles and the hair dryer I just had it on the cool set and so it wasn't hot air and I would just like dry the air bubbles behind him so all the little air bubbles would pop. I didn't want the air bubbles to dry on there like that. Um, so this is how it turned out. I felt like, I don't know, I started to just keep it brown but hold on because this window was like glaring on it. <coughs> Okay. I started to just keep it brown, but I really liked, I don't know. I just felt like the white made it pop a little more. It made it a little different, made it look more rustic, farmhousey, instead of just a plain brown top on it. But um, I really, really like how it came out. I'm happy with it. Just to like, I felt like the white and then going back over the white with the gel stain again just gave it more of a dimension. But yeah, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to put the decor back on it and I'll show y'all that and then that's pretty much going to be it.
back at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew 